Last Technical Seminars are an Intertech production. For instructor-led.net, Java, and XML courses, visit us at www.intertech.com. Okay, I think we're going to get started here, folks. Okay, first, um, welcome and thank you for uh, joining us. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, Microsoft Test Manager. Um, and uh, quickly, a little bit about myself. I've uh, been with Intertech um, for about a year and a half. I've actually been an Intertech customer since uh, 1999 for um, both consulting and um, training. And as I said, I joined Intertech about a year and a half ago. I'm a member of the VSTS Ranger group. Um, that's a group of folks that are primarily volunteers that work with the Microsoft guys on um, providing some out-of-band guidance and solutions to problems that aren't, aren't solved with the off-the-shelf software. Uh, I do some team tests, consulting, and training. Um, I've got quite a bit of experience doing some load testing. Um, at my former job, I had the opportunity to uh, go out to Boeing and do some load testing on a serious enterprise application, so that was a lot of fun, and that was using the um, uh, load testing tools in Visual Studio. Uh, I was a development manager at my former job for about nine, nine and a half years. Uh, I've got a handful of Microsoft certifications, and I uh, even do a little bit of training here every once in a while. Okay, the agenda for today, um, TFS is a huge topic, and I'm just going to give a very, very brief overview, um, especially as how it, how it relates to what we're going to be looking at. Uh, today, um, largely, I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the Microsoft Test Manager. We are going to be bouncing back and forth and doing a little bit of coding um, and that sort of thing. But but the vast majority of the time, we'll be looking at the uh, test planning and test execution, tracking and verifying of the bugs. And then, um, time permitting, I really want to get into the coded UI test. Um, that's a little bit more developer-focused. And then web testing and load testing has been around since the 2005 version of Visual Studio, but I would like to just give a very, very brief overview if we have the time. Okay, um, as far as submitting questions, we're in live meeting, um, and you can use the question feature within live meeting. I've got a partner here that uh, can be tracking some of the questions and can interrupt me occasionally and at, at some good breaking times. Or if you're a Twitter fanatic, here's the information. You can uh, tweet the questions, and um, my partner can uh, respond back also. Okay, um, so first of all, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, my setup here. It's unusual. It's nothing like you would be seeing in a production environment or anything like that. Uh, and frankly, I've had just a few problems because I'm, I'm set up so strangely. Um, but I'm using a Visual Studio Ultimate here. And using virtually all of the items we're seeing on the screen except for the lab management, I'm not going to be discussing or going too much into lab management at all today other than just a very uh, brief slide or two on uh, some of the ways your process would change if you're using the lab management tools.
Okay, so the key components we're going to be looking at today are um, mainly work item tracking. And work items are things like, for those of you not familiar with TFS, work items are, are things like bugs and user stories and test cases and that sort of thing. I'm also using the version control um, to store the code, track code changes. We'll see just a little bit of the uh, build automation as I'm going through a demonstration. There's going to be uh, quite a few times you'll see me pop over and run a build. Uh, as far as team communications, um, I, I've got a little build no notification uh, tool installed in my tray, so I'm going to get notified when a build is kicked off and when a build is complete and that sort of thing. But there's all kinds of uh, communication tools within TFS, uh, including a portal where you can exchange information and documents and that sort of thing. Uh, reporting, um, again, um, we're going to not spend a lot of time looking at the reports uh, primarily because the data I have for demonstration isn't particularly interesting to look at, but I will be showing some um, slides of, of some better graphs and things like that that are available out of the box with, uh, with TFS and some of their out of the box um, process templates. And of course, the uh, things we're going to focus on, the thing we're going to focus on mostly today would be the test management with the Microsoft Test Manager tool. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're not going to be looking at um, lab management in any detail today. And then I just also wanted to mention that um, all of all of these tools are built with extensibility in mind. So when we get to the end of the slide deck, I'm going to show you, for example, uh, a number of um, technologies that, that we can do some of these automated tested, tests that I'm showing you. Um, and, and the question is inevitably going to come up, will it work with Opera? And can, can I do this with um, such and such application or Java apps and that sort of thing? And, and the answer, the canned answer is uh, Microsoft does not provide you with the ability to do that, but because of the way they build these things, um, third parties can come and, and build add-ons that will, will allow you to, to um, use these tools with some of those other types of applications. I just wanted to also throw up the uh, pricing slide. This was, uh, I believe it was late January where I saw the uh, 2010 pricing announcements. Um, inevitably, we'll get some questions on this, so I wanted to quickly throw this up, give you a moment to take a look at it. For more free learning resources and to see the latest lineup of our instructor-led.net, Java, and XML courses, visit us at www.intertech.com.